21 years old and I need to learn how to be on my own. I've been in a relationship since I was 15 years old. We were attached at the hip ever since. And before that, I was literally attached at Molly's hip. We're still that way. We still are. But my point is I always had somebody to be with. I live in a house with my whole family. All together, we're about 10 people. So I don't really know what it's like to enjoy my own company. I do enjoy my own company, but I would way much rather rather be with somebody else and I really want to change that because I feel as if it's not really that healthy anymore I want to be happy to come home and spend the night by myself so I just need to make a change and I need to do things that make me feel good and do everything for me because I'm my own person and I'm wonderful on my own and I don't need anyone to make me feel good yeah so I'm just gonna be doing things that make me feel happy and make me feel good without distracting myself most of my life like actually it's crazy that I'm like sitting here right now talking to the camera and doing this because most of my life my distraction was YouTube anytime I was alone I was watching YouTube and I still do that and I love doing that and it makes me feel happy but I don't want to just distract myself obviously right now it's the end of 2021 but I feel like I really need to work on me in 2022 so i edited a video it's 323 i don't have a car right now i'm getting my rims fixed and i just need to be on my own and make myself feel good so let's do that together I love how I'm trying to do stuff for myself, but I still am with you guys. So my first step is honestly going to be trying to put this phone down and cleaning up. Because I just ate my lunch in my room. I need to just straighten up a little bit. And then we can relax and enjoy. that makes me really happy is drawing. I drew this, I don't know if you can see that, of my vanity. I want to continue drawing it with me sitting at the desk as I always do, like watching YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna ruin it by drawing myself on it, but that's okay. We're just gonna try our best. I just feel like when I do this, it really makes me feel calm. I used to be really into drawing growing up, and that was like my thing. I would always be painting, drawing, whatever it is. I also took a picture of myself sitting at the desk, so I can kind of like copy it. So I gave up on drawing that girl because, I mean that girl, me, myself, what the f it wasn't working. I'm not good at faces. I was going for more of like a wonky drawing, but it was like a little too wonky. So right now I'm drawing my window with kind of hard because I draw it in like gray. My plants on it, my little, I put them over there, right there, but they used to be there. And then I'm going to draw my plants and stuff. I like looking at something and drawing it. I cut out the girl. I don't know why I keep saying the girl, Jesus. I cut out myself because it looked so bad and just left it at that. I also noticed literally 90% of the time that I film, I look bad. I never am done up. I'm always vlogging, me just chilling. I really feel like I need to have a change in my life. I'm over doing the same thing every single day. I am meant to travel. I need to do that and I need to do it ASAP. And I also feel like I want to be with people so much that I don't do things because of other people and what I mean by that is like if someone's like oh no I can't or someone's pushing it off or let's say they don't want to go and I keep asking I won't go if it isn't for that other person I need to grow in a way of like venturing off and doing things on my own so hopefully that can be 
on the bucket list for 2022 just going and doing things on my own and not having to worry about if someone will come with me because i feel like that is not me living my life i'm living my life on other people's terms in a way i just wait on other people to do things i want to do are you guys enjoying vlogmas it has been so hard but such a good challenge and i'm really proud of myself for getting this far i saw a comment that said oh my god i love how you're not just doing daily vlogs because you know how much can one person do for 25 days in a row which is so true i looked at it like okay i'm not going to be the girl who vlogs the whole day sits down edits and posts at night it's just not going to happen and i'm not going to succeed that way so i was like let me pre-film some videos different concepts you know some sit down videos some get ready with me some videos with ronnie Brittany, paul and then some vlogs in there as well which has been very successful for me and i like the fact that they're all different types of videos not just vlogs so let me know if you've been liking that this is a lot but i'm doing it and that's all that matters mine and paul's six years are coming up which is really exciting i'm gonna vlog that it's gonna be really fun i don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner i honestly have no appetite which i hate i feel like i'm just so bored of eating the same things i don't know what to eat tonight honestly what i want is like cold something <gasps> i want an acai bowl But I hate ordering and I hate going out. I've been trying my best to not eat out because I just find that most places make stuff for the flavor and not for your health. And I am so annoyed because I just got my blood work done and my cholesterol was really high last time I got it done. And I've been eating really healthy, not really healthy, but majority of the week is very healthy the weekends i kind of let go and my cholesterol is still high it's 25 points lower but it's still high which is so annoying so i'm trying to eat in so i literally haven't had soul bowl probably since summer but yeah i was saying how restaurants they like to make stuff for the flavor and not for your health there's so much salt so much sodium it's just not good for me so lately i've been cooking at home a lot so i did just order an acai bowl for 27 dollars on doordash oh my god i'm so over it i'm constantly doing that it's so bad who the fuck needs a acai bowl for 27 dollars but whatever money comes and goes doesn't it might as well order it and enjoy it maybe i'll die tomorrow and then my all my money goes to shit so i'm just trying to justify my order right now my hair is not doing it for me today oh my god my roots are so dark this is my natural hair color everyone just in case you were wondering what it looks like i'm feeling like we're gonna have to grow it out i really am which is just kind of scary but i feel like that might be my journey i don't know we'll see you guys will obviously be along for the journey so you don't have to worry about missing out on anything <sighs> my first acai bowl in a hot minute mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is really a regular size but they gave it to me in a big ass cup i got extra granola and triple pineapple the pineapple is so good it literally tastes like fucking candy i don't understand how's everyone doing i hope good comment down below your favorite fruit oh let me know i know this is such an odd dinner don't knock it till you try it sometimes i just want something fresh all right and honestly this is probably as fresh as it gets Can I tell you guys a little secret? It's the next day. Paul came over last night. Yes, he did. It's not my fault, okay? He said, there's Knicks game on tonight. I'm coming over. I was like, sure, babe. Like, you think I'm gonna say no to that? No. So I didn't spend the night alone, but that's okay because I'm still gonna be working on that every single day and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for us. It's gonna be a good thing. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Thank you for watching. I love you. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Comment this emoji if you watch all up until the end and subscribe and here is today's subscriber shout out i love you so much thank you for all your support join in on this journey with me if you feel that this is something you need to work on as well peace out Mwah.